Okay, you might see me slumping, eh? uh, because instead of wasting time waiting for my daughter, so I talk to you again. Uh, today I'll talk on the topic of coaching again because uh, I just actually halfway through uh, the Asia Marketing Federation web webinars and uh, Mr. Philip Kotler uh, for those who are doing marketing you should know him because he he is the one that uh, appear in most of your marketing book I cannot remember the title of all the the models that he used if I'm not mistaken the five piece is done by him I'm not sure about the seven piece but according to his uh, latest uh, speech uh, he was just saying marketing is going to be changed forever people will look into the new norm more on sustainability of the environment uh, not in actual word he didn't use it in actual word but that is the understanding that I have from his speech uh, during the webinar that we have to be living with the norm and um, when you are doing the marketing for the norm it's going to be changed forever you know the the tools that you use to conduct marketing is going to be very different and um, then he talked about uh, uh, environment uh, more on uh, uh, caring of the society uh, whatever you do it has to be finite you know it has to be recyclable you must uh, go on the mantra of recycle uh, the three hours and you know, whatever is uh, being associated with uh, uh, the environment in every of your marketing uh, plan and be ready for the future okay so these are the things that keep a lot of people into a limbo because you have been learning marketing for so long and uh, you are so fixed huh? your mindset is so fixed and uh, for some they are biting on the academic knowledge and don't want to budge from it those are the people who is going to face a lot of problem in future and i hope to i hope i don't see that Therefore, it's good for your, uh, for you yourself to evaluate what is your values in uh, your career. How you want to uh, evaluate your future. What is your new norm? When you're in marketing, what is your new norm? You cannot die, die, bite on say, oh, last time we used to do this. Or you say, oh, by six months, it's going to come back, you know. Uh, this is just a passing like SARS or uh, H1N1. A lot of people I speak to are still in this dreamland state, okay. They think that tomorrow if we leave the MCO, people will be flying to Malaysia for tourism. People will be flying everywhere for tourism. And they refuse to see the fact. Uh, and I don't want to argue with them because when you talk to people like that, you will... Uh, put yourself in a very uh, unfavorable uh, situation because what they cannot see or they don't want to see actually is their their own uh, perception you I do not have that uh, authority or uh, in other words I don't want to spoil my moment trying to convince them so for you I would suggest that you really look in instead of look out because outside 10 people 9 people will give you the negative thing even though you have 9 positive things okay so uh, like this Rinpoche Minyu was saying you have 10 qualities and only one is bad you will only concentrate on the bad which brings me to another philosophy of uh, Sadhguru who said the moment is inevitable so nowadays, what do you want? You have to ask yourself. There are three questions you need to ask yourself. Number one, what do you want? How can you fit into the new norm? And what can you do? The new norm is happening. Uh, and I, I wish everyone who are uh, wanting a career, 
to look seriously into the education that they have gone through and use it uh, 100% to their knowledge. You don't learn something and then follow the book and then die die say the book say like that or die die say it's going to come back. You're just looking for uh, positiveness in the negative environment which is not positive. Do you know what I mean? It's not the truth. You are trying to hide in your own lies so that you feel better. So when the uh, employers uh, give you the working certificate, you can blame the employers. That is not supposed to be the way you treat your employers. Say what you like also. A lot of employers are doing their best to maintain the business so that it's sustainable and can survive the two years that we see uh, which is going to be bad especially for the tourism industry so always appreciate what your employers are doing I'm not an employer I'm just in between the employer and the employees and I, I work for myself with the hope that what I do will always bring benefits to both parties because that is my passion in life to ensure that the cycle of career will happen in all uh, the environment that we are seeing so before I sign off here I would like to uh, let you know if you are one that really looking very hard and cannot find something that really turn the key in your heart we look for a coach you can look for me uh, you can search me up or email to me at 4ms 4 as in number 4 m as in malaysia singapore alias kochi coach.com kochi as in c-o-a-c-h-e-e coach as in normal coach coach.com I wish to see everyone able to make this country Malaysia bloom again because now in the world this is the only time we are in the same platform as everyone else whether we uh, are successful or not it all depends on how much the Malaysian are doing for the country uh, before I end politics will always be politics if you are not a professional in political science even if you are one don't get yourself entangled into it concentrate on building yourself concentrate on stabilizing yourself so thank you for listening and I talk to you again bye